Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Plays Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Today, well, I already checked the guild and there's no new quests. I also went around to the different shops just to see if I wasn't missing any like liberal issues and stuff like that. I, I guess I could have checked like the actual headquarters for the liberal news. I didn't check that, no. I didn't check the coffee house either because I didn't think they would probably get anything new. Maybe they would. Well, we'll just pop in there real fast. Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy, how's it going? Oh, well, thank you. It was an amazing match. I did fantastically. Uh, we did the chef's curry already. And we got all this stuff. All right, let's check out the liberal news before going to Gransel Castle, because that's where we're supposed to go. Now, I don't expect them to actually have anything, like, liberal issue-wise here. Maybe... I was kind of hoping they would, like, hey, you missed these? Well, you can buy them again here, but then again, what wouldn't be much of a, like a, a secret thing, right? If uh, they didn't have some sort of, sort of uh, time limit on it. Uh, all right, let's go north and to Gransel Castle, which I'm sure will be chock full of cutscenes. Actually kind of expected it just to start right from here, but fine, whatever. I'm expecting Oliver to come in. Oh, are we already going? Are we going to the castle already? Just to remind you, since we're going to be staying there after the party, we won't be able to leave until morning. I checked the stores. I checked the Bracer Guild. I didn't see anything. I do have backup saves just in case something bad happens, but I rarely ever use them. For better or for worse, sometimes. Yeah, let's enter Grantsel Castle. Well, let's show the gatekeeper our invitations then. Ah. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Probably because we don't get invitations to big events like this very often. Hey, this is the castle of Her Majesty the Queen. That's why we're here. Unless you have official business here, you need to... Uh, hey. Hi there. We're sorry about the other day. Oh, it's you two. Uh, you're still tr staying in town? Yeah, we still have some business to take care of. Uh, we have a formal invitation, so by your leave, may we pass? A formal invitation? Received directly from his grace. What? It's a giant! See, right here, written invitation. Let's see. To Zin and his team, in appreciation for your performance in the competition, you are cordially invited to a dinner party. Oh, uh, okay, you guys are in the martial arts uh, competition. Right, and I heard the winning team was led by a huge Eastern man. You mean he is right in front of you? Probably don't want to, like, preface that with huge. I'm sure, yeah, I think he's fine with it, but at the same time, that can be insulting, dog. So is that you? Hee <laughs> hee, you got it. We would graciously, greatly appreciate your help. Makes sense. Uh, the head maid told us you'd be coming. You're missing someone. What happened to him? It's kind of impolite, I know, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it. We were the only ones coming. Ah, that's a pity. No matter, please go on in. I'm assuming Oliver's gonna be back. Now entering Zinn and company, victors of the martial arts competition. Open the gate. I mean, you might not be. But I would expect him to come back. Wow, it's like the Harking Gate, but there's something more impressive about it being part of a castle. I bet it's more solid, too, since it's the royal castle. And that's part of why it's, impreg it's impregnable. Ever since the nation was established, no enemy has ever broken through the... Aninberg Wall? Sure. The capital has been ravaged by war numerous, numerous times as a result of the mutinies and insurrections amongst the nobles. But even then, the castle held the rebel army at bay and protected the royal family and the refugees. Or, so the story, stories say. Wow, that's pretty neat! Very much the sort of tale one would expect from a nation with such a history. Now, welcome to Our Majesty's Grantsel Castle. Go right on in. You'll be met by a welcoming party inside. We're gonna get, like, shot as soon as we get in, aren't we? That's the welcoming party, it's just a firing line. This place seems relatively big, actually. Can I ransack it? Holy crap, actually. <laughs> Whoa! You can say that again. I've never seen anything that 
compares to this place. It's not just pretty, it's got history. I can really feel the traditions and rules of the old kingdom here. Woman's voice. Welcome to Grantsel Castle. You are Zinn and his team, correct? Ah, Malthia. Eek! Captain Malthia. This isn't really unexpected, but even so. That's right, we come at the invitation of the good duke. And, uh, you are? Haha, <laughs> pardon me. I'm Captain Something Amalthia of the Intelligence Division, head of Grenzel Castle's defenses. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations for your championship victory. Watching the match was truly, a truly a spectacular experience. That's not true, girl. I saw you talking crap about us and how Lauren should have went all out or something like that. <laughs> You're too kind, really. And may I say, I didn't know they made women as young and as pretty as you into captains. You must do fine work. My, but you are the flatterer. But I am not so young as your bracer friends. Dots? Dots. Estelle and Joshua Bright. It has been some time since the incident in Zeiss, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess it has. Quite some time. Unfortunately, the matter concerning Professor Russell is yet to be resolved. It appears that he and his granddaughter were abducted by a group of nefarious individuals. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Huh? I'm afraid not. We left that case up to the full-fledged uh, full bracers uh, and came to Grantsel. We never even heard of the follow-up report on it. I see. <laughs> That's truly a shame. Well, with the resources of the Intelligence Division, it's only a matter of time before the culprits are arrested. Have no fear on that score. But what the hell's with her? Understood. We trust that we trust you to take care of the professor. Oh, absolutely. Now we must show you to your rooms. Uh, Shia, Shia, if you would please do the honors. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry. See to their needs, but do not bore them with your idle with any idle chatter. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. I understand. <laughs> Very good. Now, everyone, I hope you enjoy your evening. For my part, I must bid you farewell. I do like her look, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to kill her. Mm-hmm, that is one fine woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Zinn. I hate to say this, Zinn, but your taste in women is crap. There's nothing fine about that fox-faced harpy. I don't, uh, I wouldn't really call her a fox. She is pretty. But her, her personality's pretty shit, but her, her face is pretty. I think that might just be his favorite type of woman. <laughs> I just tend to be uh, to find that women like that turn out to be pretty good people once you peel back a few layers. So to speak. You're hopeless. Not that it matters, but you really do sound like a dirty old man sometimes. Oh, oh my honor. Um... Oh, sorry about that. You were supposed to show us to a room, right? Yes, please follow me. Pardon my not saying before, but I'm Shia. I'm made from the castle. I'll be at your service this evening from the, for the dinner party until morning. If anything is not to your satisfaction, please don't hesitate to ask. Let me to uh, hesitate to let me know. Thank you very much. Uh, will you please show us to your room? To, to your room? Yeah, Joshua. Yeah, Zin's the, the creepy perv, but Joshua wants to go to your room. To our room, Shia. Certainly. It's on the second floor. To your room. <laughs> uh, that's bad. That's really bad, Joshua. This place is gigantic. Is this a dungeon? Because I'm starting to get the feel that it might actually just be a dungeon. Oh, wow. Get a load of that chandelier. Talk about classy. Hush, Estelle. What's that way? That's the throne room. Her Majesty used to receive personal guests. It hasn't seen much use in recent days, though. I see. But is the Queen's condition really that bad? Isn't the birthday celebration coming up soon? Uh, oh, no. It's just that it's the head maid who tends to her in the royal keep of late. I shouldn't speak on subjects about which I'm unfamiliar. Come, shall we? Oh, is the maid hiding something? I think the maid's hiding something. Are you really Shia LaBeouf? Is that what you're hiding? Whatever happened to him? Last time I heard he lost his mind and got arrested somewhere, then he just kind of disappeared. 
This is the throne room. You'll be staying. <laughs> no, this is the room you're where you'll be staying. Please go on in. Uh, okay. Pardon us. This is a nice room. There is only three beds. How'd you know there was only gonna be three of us? Holy Strius? Never imagined we'd ever stay in a place like this. Nice. This will make a good story for later. I believe this is. There is still some time for the party. Uh, you are free to explore the castle, but the security, but the security areas are off limit. I ask that you refrain from entering those areas. Oh, we're going there, girl. Um, can you be a little bit more specific? Most significantly, the the royal keep where the queen resides. Uh, it's a small pla palace of sorts built on the garden terrace on the on the what on the garden terrace on the roof. Built on the garden terrace on the roof. Okay, Shia. Garden terrace. That sounds nice. <laughs> the terrace is where her majesty greets the people of Gransol from during the birthday festivities. So you can't, you cannot go into the royal keep itself, but you may visit the garden terrace if you like. As for the other restricted areas, uh, there's the royal guards room and also the treasury. Oh, I want to go to the treasury, dog. The royal guard room? I guess that's, they're still wanting, I guess they're still wanted for questioning about the terrorist stuff. Oh, the guardsmen. Okay, that makes sense. It, yeah, the intelligence vision is currently occupying it. Entrance is restricted, so please abide by the rules. Understood. By the way, what are the others who are what are the others who are invited doing? They're already arrived. I imagine they're relaxing in their respective rooms. All right. So Mayor Claus is here too. Oh yes, he's arrived some time ago. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. If you need anything, please contact the first floor waiting room. Now then. How was this unnoticed by Zin? Hey, Zin, we want to go and walk around the castle for a little bit. We'll be back in time for the party. Huh, it must be nice to be so young. I'm worn out from after the tournament. No problem, have fun. Me, I'm going to kick back, relax in this oh-so-luxurious room. We need to get as much done as we can before the party starts. First, Julia, to Julia told us that we have to talk to the headmaid, Hilda. I'd like to say hello to the other invitees, too. We likely know most of them. Ah, uh, probably. Are they on this floor as well? Like in here? Uh, is this Claus? It is Claus, I think. Oh, and that, uh, that's the Dumbledore from the Academy. Oh, Joshua and Estelle, you made it! It's been quite a while. Dean Collins? You were invited to the banquet as well, sir? I just arrived today via airship from Ruin. A little more, uh, mere old birdie told me you two won the tournament. Jill and the other, everyone else will be so happy to hear. He, he thank you. I had no idea we'd be seeing you here, Dean Collins. Dean Collins is a member of the Royal Assembly and a man of great respect in the world. It's only fitting he's given a seat at the banquet. A man of great respect, he says. <laughs> you flatter me, Bear. What's the Royal Assembly? It's a meeting held once a year per uh, once per year to address matters affecting the kingdom. The queen, mayors of every city, and other representatives will all come together to try and solve various problems of state. Wow, sounds big. So all those guys have been invited here tonight too? No, I say only about half. Her Majesty is still ill, and General Morgan is away on official military business. More like he's locked in a dungeon somewhere. And Mayor Dalmore Ruin has was arrested into that arrested in that nasty affair. And Professor Russell, he's a bit too entrenched and too many unknowns right now. We don't know, uh, we don't know how true all this talk is of the Royal Guards being involved in some underground terrorist organization. It's hardly the time to be holding a feast at all, if you ask me. Dots. Dots. Well, we can use this chance to see where Duke Doonan stands in all these issues. We need his permission to have an audience with Her Majesty regardless. Yes, that's the biggest issue here, without a doubt. Barring us from seeing Her Majesty as the height of idiocy and mismanagement. I'd like to pay my respects to Princess Claudia as well, but it's the same story. Princess Quadi Claudia's the Queen's granddaughter, right? So does she live in the castle? No, it's my understanding her actual residence is elsewhere. But I'm told she's come to the capital as of a few days ago. She's here then. I'd really like to meet her. I'm sure you'll have a chance. Uh, maybe. 
You know, I kind of... For some reason, I thought the queen was, like... Young? Just, like, really young. I don't know why. Huh. Okay. Well, we know something's up with Chloe. She's not at... She didn't visit... She probably, he's saying, he was saying something about visiting the orphanage before setting out. But we saw the cutscene with her and, uh, Julia. So... Actually... Oh, yeah, so... Claudia is probably here than probably being held captive. Hey, Mayor Maybell and your maid. Mayor Maybell and Lila. Joshua, Estelle. Ah, here at last. I kept wondering when you get here. I was practically counting the seconds. So you were invited here too, Mayor? Hey, were you waiting for us? How did you know we were coming? I heard from Aunt Claus. I heard about the pair of children who entered the tournament, won its championship, and were invited to the Grand Royal Banquet in the castle. If I had known, I would have cancelled my appointments and can't come to cheer you on. Begging your pardon, madam, but th that would have been quite impossible given the circumstances. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> Don't worry, I know how busy you must be. I'm sure the Queen has no time to waste at the banquet, what with everything else going on. What is Duke Dunan thinking? The captain, that captain was so stubborn about inviting me too. I had no real choice but to ex uh, accept. Do you mean Captain Amalthea? Yes, that's her. Her words were polite enough, but she gave me an evil eye when she spoke them. I dared not refuse her request. I haven't heard from Grantsel, uh, General Morgan in quite some time. Wait, does that mean... You haven't heard any word from Hawken Gate? The General's unavailable is the longest message I've been able to ring, at, ring from them. It would seem he's busy with these counter-terrorist countermeasures or what have you. I had hoped he'd be in attendance at the banquet tonight. Pretty sure he's in shackles somewhere. But I guess he couldn't pull himself away. Hmm. What do you think about all this, Mayor? Putting mayors in every city from in the same place at the same time like this? Well, actually, now that you mention that, Joshua, that is kind of shady. Well, if the Queen were to be in attendance, I would expect some announcement of no small, no small importance. But as it is, this feels like the Duke has too much time on his greasy, chubby hands. He's letting his position of royal proxy go to his head. That sounds about right. But there still might be some kind of official n announcement, don't you think? Well, whatever may come out of the night, the Grand Chef here is, is the best in all of the kingdom. I plan to enjoy the dinner, pay my respects to Her Majesty, and return to Bosia post haste. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not too out of the ordinary for like nobles to gather when stuff like this happens. But when it's kind of quickly put together like this, you kind of expect some shady stuff to go on, and to be fair, shady stuff is going on. So we'll probably learn about that later tonight when we go to uh, the feast. So this room is empty, so we're missing some guests. And we want to go to the first floor to talk to Hilda, correct? Is this the library? Is there anything I can steal? No, this is like... This is a, the office room of some sort. Hello. Libra. Nice to meet you, dog. I'm a Libra myself. Not by choice, it's kind of when my mom popped me out. But didn't they change those, actually? I remember hearing back that they were changing some of the Zodiac dates. Uh, do we have a map? We don't have a map. What's in here? Is this the throne room? That is clearly the throne room. Yeah, I remember reading something a long time ago that they were adjusting some of the Zodiac dates. But I didn't really look into it because I don't really care. <laughs> Too much, anyways. It's kind of fun every once in a while, but other than that... Wait, no, I'm not a Libra. I'm a Virgo. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, I'm clearly a Virgo. I am <laughs> I am not a Libra at all. How did I mess that up? It's been a long day, sure. It hasn't been that long, though. Wow. Where? Oh god, what did I do? Is this the Garden Terrace? Oh wow, check that out! This must be the castle's Garden Terrace! I'd say so. You can see the whole lake from here and it overlooks the town, too. Must be great for uh, reconnaissance. Uh, as nice as this is, we really don't have the time to stop and enjoy it. 
We've got a job to do. This is true. I'm more like mostly just exploring right now. Seeing if I can find any treasures, which might not be a thing. This is the thing we can't go in, right? This must be the Royal Keep. Yeah, they got machine guns. Huh, who are you? Hey, you two. Um, we're here as guests of the Duke. Is this where her, mo her Majesty lives? Of course it is. But for the last few days, she hasn't been feeling so well. She's not seeing anyone right now. Oh, you get the, uh, you got it all wrong. We weren't even thinking of that. I just thought it would be amazing if she was even, uh, were to even, uh, wait. I just thought it would be amazing if she were to even take notice of us. Does Princess, Princess Claudia sleep here as well? No, it's just, hey. The princess is forced to uh, focus on looking after her majesty. Neither of them have time to deal with the likes of you. Might I inquire as to what's going on here? Madam, we didn't know you were back already. Middle-aged woman, the dinner party will be starting soon, so I will be returning to the maid's quarters. And who are our guests? They're from the team that won the martial arts competition. It's only because of that victory that someone of the Brace's social standing would ever be invited here. A Brace's social standing? Such discourtesy! You would insult those who would personally who were personally invited to the royal castle? No, no, that's not that's not what. Those invited by the Duke should be treated with all the respects due to those uh, invited by Her Majesty. I sincerely hope you have not forgotten that. Uh, uh, understood. Wow, she's intense. I wonder who she is. That's probably Hilda. But madam, uh, we can't just allow them to pass. Surely you understand the reasons the Colonel laid out. Yes, and I'm quite tired of hearing them repeated to me. I'm terribly sorry, sir and madam. Security has been heightened, and as such, the royal keeping and surroundings are off limits. If I may ask, would you mind waiting in your rooms until the dinner party begins? Uh, all right. That's fine. We'll do as you ask. I apologize. We weren't trying to cause any trouble. Hm. Huh. Fine, then. Just don't let it happen again. Dots. Uh, save return to you. I apologize that you were subject to such dis uh, dreadful behavior. My name is Hilda. I'm the head maid of the Gransel Castle, and I oversee all the housekeeping duties. Aha! We had a feeling, huh? Forgive my rudeness, but, uh, are we previously acquainted? Well, um, someone told us about you. I know this handwriting. You see? We also have our bracelet emblems and identifications with us. I see. Please come with me to the maid's sitting room. We can discuss the matter further once we are there. I understand. You need to deliver Professor Russell's message to Her Majesty, correct? Right. If now is not a good time, we could try later, but... No, it's not an issue. But those special ops men have had the royal keep under constant surveillance for some time now. Only the Duke, the Colonel, and hired attendants such as myself are allowed in. Which means that a private audience is probably a no-go. What do you think, Estelle? We could ask Hilda to relay the professor's message to her majesty, or do you have any maids, uniforms, and a wig? Joshua looks great as a woman. Hmm, no, I'd rather, I'd really rather speak to her face to face. There are just too many particulars we don't know and we'd really need to discuss directly. Like what Duke Dunan and Colonel Richard are after. Estelle and Joshua, I have a bit of an idea. Could I get you to turn here once the party is over? Why? Have you thought of a way to see, uh, for us to see your majesty? I believe I have. It may be difficult, but I think it's worth a try. I heard the man playing the game, and I think I, you look lovely in a dress, Joshua. I'm going to need some time to get ready, so could you come back after the dinner party? Awesome. Understood. We'll be back then. I'll be waiting. Oh, and about the party. Preparing the food is going to take some time, so please, bear with me. Yo, like, take your time. Take as much time as you want, girl. I need to go here? Hello. Ah, it's Shia LaBeouf. Can I, can I get in here? So yeah, we're definitely dressing up as maids, right? Is that what's happening? Probably, but we'll probably find out next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.